Hello, my name is Biswana Thore and welcome to the AWS Builder's Guide. Today we will see how to secure an Amazon S3 bucket. As you develop and implement the security policies, there will be many features to use, but today we will talk about blocking public access to the S3 bucket using AWS IAM, and also we will touch upon encrypting the objects within the S3 bucket. Now, when it comes to the IAM policy, you can choose between identity-based policy and resource-based policy. Identity-based policies are attached to an IAM user group or role. That's the reason there is no principal element in the identity-based policy. Now, resource-based policy is attached to a resource like S3 bucket. So let's move on to AWS console, create a S3 bucket, and configure a bucket policy to provide the developer access to the bucket. So I'm in my S3 console. I'm creating a bucket here. The bucket name has to be unique globally. So if we can scroll down, we can see the ACLs are by default disabled, which is a best practice. And we can also see that block all public access, this box is checked, which means whenever you create a bucket, by default, the public access is blocked. If you uncheck, it gives you different options in terms of ACLs and bucket policies to allow public access to existing bucket and newly created bucket. For our case, we will keep it as blocked. So let's talk about S3 encryption here. Uh, we have different options. We can use S3 managed keys. Also, we can use KMS where we can create our own keys and we can use that keys to encrypt the objects within the S3 bucket. For our purpose, we will keep it disabled. And we will move ahead and create the bucket. As we didn't upload any object to the bucket, so the bucket will be empty. Now we will go to the permission tab of the bucket and see what kind of permissions are there based on the configurations which we did while creating the bucket. And as expected, the public access is blocked because we checked that boxes in the previous page. And now we will go and create a bucket policy. So when it comes to bucket policy, we will use the best practice of using least access privilege. So let's hit the edit button and create a bucket policy. Now, once you click on the edit, if you have your policy statement prepared, you can copy and paste it into the space here. Head new statement feature allows you to create the policy right from the scratch. It will give you the required JSON structure with all the elements like principle, effect, action, and resources. From there, you can create your policy using the least access privilege. There are many examples available for your reference. Now to follow least access privilege, we will give access to the user who needs access to the S3 bucket. In this case, we have created a user called developer and we will provide access to that user. We are not going to use any wildcard character like asterisk in the principal element of the policy so that the access is limited to the user who needs the access. As you can see, I am copying the ARN of the IAM user developer under the principal and the effect is either allow or deny. In this case, it's allow. Now go to the action. We have selected S3. Let's try to select a list bucket action. So here also we are following the list privilege policy. So we are giving only that operations which is required for our use case. So now we will add a resource. So we copied the ARN of the bucket. Then we hit an add resource. We select what kind of resource is it. We are selecting bucket here. And we put the ARN which we have copied from the other page. So now if you look at the policy, we have added a principle, we have added an action, and we have also added a resource. 
So uh, using the list privilege access as per our use case, our bucket policy is complete. Let's talk about when to use S3 bucket policy. So here are some of the use cases. You want a simple way to grant cross-account access to your S3 environment without using IAM roles, then S3 bucket policy is the way to go. If you prefer to keep access control policies in the S3 environment, then definitely the bucket policy is the way to go here. So if you are more interested in what can this user do in AWS, then probably you should go for identity-based policies. On the other hand, if you are more interested in who can access this S3 bucket, then bucket policy is something which you need to use here. Now what I will do is I will like to show you a um, couple of other things regarding the bucket policies where which you can refer um, if you need some examples or if you want to use some other tool for creating your policy like policy generator. So let's go back to the bucket policy tab. If you see there are policy examples and policy generators. So if you click on policy examples, it will take you to a portal where you can see an ample examples of bucket policies. And as I said, there is a tool called policy generator, which also you can use for creating your policies. So if you want to provide your feedback or contact us, please use these links. Thank you. I hope this helped you. Thanks. Bye-bye.